So in the reviews on this channel, 95% of the time, I'm flying solo for the recording duties. And for capturing third person shots for either one of my bike or scooter reviews, I've used a tripod and use static shots. Since attempting a panning shot without a gimbal often makes my footage look a little choppy. So I recently looked into gimbals, and not surprisingly enough, they're super expensive and pretty complicated. But while researching, I found a company called GravGrip, which is a hydraulic leveling gimbal. They use this gravity instead of batteries. So in this video, we're gonna check out the GravGrip V2 to see if this gimbal is gonna change the market as we know it. So now, let's check out the GravGrip V2. So GravGrip is a company that was started in 2017 by Kevin Thomas, who I must say has a knack for cool products, since he's also found another company called Fatty Pack, which is a fanny pack fear hat. GravGrip launched on Kickstarter in 2020 and released the GravGrip V1 soon thereafter. But in this video, we're not gonna look at the V1. We're checking out the action camera version of the newest V2, which is a more refined and updated version of the GravGrip. So the GravGrip 2 is made of a thick, durable nylon plastic. It's extremely light and pretty compact with a weight of only 69 grams and measurements of 73 millimeters by 79 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And what's really cool about the Grav Grip is that it's a hydraulic gimbal that doesn't use batteries. Instead it uses gravity and a hydraulic system that consists of two gears. One gear is built into the Grav Grip and there's removable gears that offer different damper settings that affects the responsiveness of the Grav Grip. The V2 comes equipped with a stage two hydraulic setting. But you can order variety pack or counterweights if you like to adjust the responsiveness or increase the rotation speed. The Grav Grip will fit almost any GoPro style camera adapter, but I do recommend at least getting a hand grip or extension pole. I got the extension pole with my Grav Grip, and it was very well made, sturdy, easy to use, it comes with a carabiner, has a hand strap, and extends up to 29 inches in length. It also has a bottom mount that can mount to a tripod. And using the grav grip is very simple. First, attach the grav grip to the extension pole. Loosen the blue ring and then move the piston either up or down to your desired position, as the position of the piston actually determines how quickly the grav grip will rotate. The higher you position the camera, the slower the rotation, and the lower you position the camera, the faster the rotation. So the first test that I did was a basic panning shot of a bike using the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I always find panning shots a little bit of a pain since one, I typically use an iPhone that doesn't have stabilization so it tends to be shaking for me while panning over a bike. And number two, I'm not a young guy anymore so bending down repeatedly to get shots is kind of a pain in the rear end. So with the GoPro, I did one shot without the grav grip and one with. And quite honestly, the shots both are pretty similar in smoothness but I did appreciate not having to crouch for every shot when using the grav grip. For the second test, I filmed someone else riding and to me, this is where the advantage of the grav grip really showed. For the shot, I wanted to film my daughter wife riding, with the shot starting high to give it kind of like a drone effect, then come swooping in. I'm extremely happy the way the shot worked out. The grav grip was also effective in capturing low shots that were close to the ground. And when I tried to recreate the shot without the grav grip, I couldn't do it, since the camera is always in the same position, and I can't bend my arm to make the transition from high to low, so I'd have to flip the camera. Let me show you what I mean. So when filming, I'm riding my bike with a GoPro attached to the end of a pole. And when using the grav grip, I was able to smoothly transition from raising the camera from a higher position to the ground level in one motion. But without the grav grip, when I start lowering the camera, I get to a point where my wrist can't bend any farther. So I have to readjust my arm to have the camera facing the target, which ruins any smooth transition. The third test I did, which is really beneficial to my channel, is I did filming myself and the bike in third person using the grav grip. I was really surprised how easy the shot was, and it's typically something I'd have to use my Insta360 camera for, since when filming with the GoPro, I have the same issue of not being able to maintain a smooth shot without having to reposition my arm which creates a choppy video. The last shot I attempted was using the grav grip with the Insta360. I think that between the GoPro and the Insta360, the 360 definitely doesn't need the grav grip as much as the GoPro does. And since the camera films in 360, it's very easy to get smooth third person footage. The only problem I've ever had with the 360 is that sometimes when filming, if you let the stick move around too much, it creates kind of a pulsing effect. So I can confirm that while using grav grip with the 360, the grav grip fixed the pulsing effect. But the only bad part is, I could see the grav grip itself and the stick in the shot. When using the 360 with its own stick, the stick is mounted at the bottom of the 360, 
and the 360 editing program is able to erase it so it isn't seen. But the grab dip doesn't have the same design, so you can see it in the footage. And it might not bother a lot of people, it's just something I wanted to note. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the grav grip. It's insanely easy to use, it works really good, it's affordable, and you never have to worry about changing batteries or if it gets wet. It's a very simple concept and design, but it's very effective. And this is a product I'll be using a lot in the future in my videos and for my own personal use. And if I had one wish for grav grip, it's if they were able to figure out how to make a battery free gimbal that was made for chest mounts. I truly believe if they could figure that out, it would be a game changer for chest mounted GoPro footage. So thank you to everyone watching this video and to GravGrip for sending a unit for me to test out. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much and have a great one.